So we're going to do this Jeopardy real quick. Stars of the 21st century. Let's see how I do on this one. Stars of the 20th century is today's final Jeopardy category. Here's the clue. A 1927 New York Times headline. Witness testifies this woman rewrote play and insisted on the spicy scenes because City liked them. 30 seconds. Good luck, players. Nineteen twenty-seven. Like you already lost me. <laughs> like you already lost me. I don't. I don't know nothing about nineteen twenty-seven. Anything. So we're just watching it to see how it ends. Um, yeah, I got nothing. See my boy right here in the middle, right with right here. That's how I'm looking right now. Like, uh, oh no. David Herb, the champion, is up first with forty four hundred dollars. He wrote down who is Parker, Dorothy Parker, I assume, but I'm afraid that's not correct, David. Wrong. You will lose one hundred and twenty three dollars, leaving you with four thousand two hundred seventy seven. Maddie Carwile was in second place with thirteen thousand nine hundred. She came up with, who is Wolf? And that's also incorrect. What did you wager, Maddie? Small, I see, $2,200. So you remain with $11,700. So it all rides on Alex Mishev's response here. He had $16,000. And he wrote down, who is Gertrude Stein? No, the actress here who spent eight days in jail, brought up on morals charges because of her play Sex, was Mae West. Early hit for Mae West. How much did you wager, Alex? A lot. $12,000 knocks oh! you into third place, and it makes Maddie Carwile a Jeopardy champion. Damn! Why did you bet so much, dude? You could have just bet, like, $2 and won that shit. You was thinking that they were all going to get it right. Oh. Great game, everybody. Congrats, Maddie. Oh. There's... Pl That's painful. You went from, you were basically done, and now you dropped to third place. I mean, you had $4,000 on a free trip, but, whoo, that's got to suck. That's got to suck. Well, I didn't know the answer to that. Didn't come close to it, but tell me what y'all think, and we'll see you in the next one.